Hi folks, Shane here. It's Friday morning and three of us are off camping in Simmons Yant, which is in Herefordshire, between England and Wales. It's actually on the English side of the Welsh border. Um, it's about 211 miles door to door. So on the trip with me is Steve on his Triumph Tiger and Wayne on his Honda NTV 650. So, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy the journey and the fun we're going to have. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so we've done about 80 miles so far. We're just coming into Hungerford on the A4 in sunny Berkshire and it is rather sunny today yeah Hungerford as some of you may remember was uh, the scene of that dreadful massacre about 30 years ago I think it is now a um, long old time and uh, I actually lived in Hungerford for a, a couple of years um, 1997 I think it was a nice little old market town Full of antique shops. Um, we won't be going through the town centre today because we're going to continue on to. Uh, let's have a little look. We're going to continue on to um, Marlborough. There used to be a fire station down here. I think it's on the left. There it is. Yeah. Uh, we need to go straight over here. Rightly to the A4. So yeah, Hungerford. So we're about 20 miles or 23 miles from the campsite. Um, just coming into Radford, and we've had a couple of raindrops. Um, first time on the journey, really, and I'm hoping. That these black clouds clear off and leaves us, leaves us with some blue skies for the weekend and our journey back on Monday. But hey ho, we'll make the most of it. So this is Ross on Wye, and what a lovely old place it is too, just our fish and chips, very nice. So to bring you up to speed, so we arrived at the campsite, um, popped the tents up, lovely little site, um, I'll do a little bit of a wander around with the camera tomorrow, but yeah, it's been a cracking day, so we've just been to Morrison's and got some provisions. I think you know what sort. So one can only assume we're going over the River Y now. Let's have a look. Cool, stunning. Absolutely stunning. So good morning folks, this is um, our first full day in Herefordshire 
the plan for today is pop into Monmouth, have a look round, just a ride through, and then we're heading across to the Brecon Beacons. Um, first night under canvas since 77, in anger shall we say. Uh, absolutely brilliant. My um, Van Gogh Trek air mat, spot on, really comfy. Trickology, pillow, brilliant. Um, yeah, I, I can't grumble at all. Slept like a log. Woke up about ten past six, but that ain't bad, really. The tent itself, the um, Earth 4, out well. Brilliant. Um, it's got like a, a black interior, which keeps a lot of light out, and I have to say, spot on. Absolutely spot on. So, all the kit I've bought is brilliant. Um, Use the old camping stove, the jet boil, Minimo. Uh, yeah, boils in no time. So I can honestly say, with all the purchases I've made, it's been really good. Um, yeah, so you're welcome to come along on our little journey into Monmouth and up to the back of Beacons. I'll switch off for now and get it on when there's something more interesting to see. So it looks like Monmouth's having a bit of work done to it. <coughs> uh, road closed. Well. So Monmouth is closed, so we're going straight to Brecon. Hello mate, so it looks like Monmouth is closed, so we'll go straight to Brecon. So, this is where the sat nav has brought us. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. The A40 is closed, or the heads of the valley road is closed, so um, uh, we're trying to find a way to continue on our journey. So. Yeah. Here we go. Well, it all adds to the experience, doesn't it, really? Reminds me of Devon down on Dartmoor. Little roads like this, with the occasional passing point, such as on the right-hand side. Um, I remember watching the Missenden Flyer when he came to Wales, and. Uh, I think he was having the same fun as we're having today. But, uh, yeah. Hey, it's all good fun. It's all an adventure. That's why we got adventure bikes, I suppose. Yep. Oh, hello. Just had a branch clout me mirror. Are they still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Are we going to be all right here?
absolutely beautiful. You can't beat a river. Absolutely love them. So this is the Brecon Beacons. What a beautiful part of the world this is. Um, absolutely stunning. I came here uh, oh, 50 years ago and um, it's still absolutely beautiful. Can't beat it. Anyway, I'll shut up and let you enjoy the um, uh, the view, so to speak. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Okie dokie. Absolutely stunning. folks how's that for a view stunning absolutely stunning and I have to say I can't take credit for finding this route I'll just put it in the sat nav back to Simmons Yat and this is what it's come up with absolutely stunning so Merthyr Road I think it could be the B let me have a look So, let's have a look here. Let's get a photograph, I think. I don't know. A little opportunity. Do you want to take a photograph? Yeah. Stunning, eh? Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we'll definitely grab a photograph of that one. Absolutely stunning. Or in the words of Teapot One, look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, back to the campsite we go for tea and tiffin. That little 
little bend there. It's good practice for the Alps and the Alpine passes. <laughs> oh, we've got another one coming up now. Switchbacks. We do like a switchback. Back in civilization. What a shame. Is that a railway line, do you think? Oh, no, it's a canal. Bloody hell. So, ladies and gents, this is Ross on Y. Um, stunning little place, really is. Hundreds of years old, I would suggest. And uh, absolutely beautiful. Real hot spot with tourists. And of course, now there's a little bit of freedom. These little gems in the British countryside are going to take off. Uh, and fair play as well, you know. I think people may be reluctant to um, be going overseas this year. But when you look at what we've got in the UK, uh, I think it's hard to beat as long as we have the weather which is the key thing really isn't it but yeah so this is Ross and Y and home at last Well, hey, 122 is not a lot. <sighs> Back at Tierney Towers in Simmons Yacht. Happy days. So, folks, another day on the bike. Um, we're heading towards the Forest of Dean, uh, which is sort of Welsh English border country. Um, Again, I came here many, many years ago when I was a child, and uh, from my memories, it, it, it was good, you know. So let's see what happens on the bikes today. Have a bit of fun. We brought our cooking kit with us um, for a bit of lunch because Wales uh, is still on semi-lockdown. None of the cafes or pubs are open. Um, so rather than risk it for a Swiss kit, we brought our gear with us and some food, which we can cook up at the side of the road. So yeah, let's enjoy the journey. It's called the Forest of Dean. <laughs> I will have to um, uh, look it up and put it on the screen.
So guys, we're still in the Forest of Dean and we just visited the Forest of Dean Heritage Centre. Um, even though officially it was closed at three o'clock and we rocked up about 20 past, uh, the young lady in there, uh, she sold us a couple of drinks and let us enjoy their, their seats um, before she closed the gates. And the time now, we've literally just left and it's half past four. She, she wasn't saying, oh, come on, hurry up, my lovelies, out you go. She was just really nice and let us chill and enjoy the area, you know, the place itself. But if anybody hasn't been over to Herefordshire and the Welsh borders on a bike, honest to God, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a lovely road. There's some crap roads as well. But on, in the main, there's some cracking roads with some beautiful scenery. So I really do encourage you to get yourself over it. If it's camping or even B&B or whatever takes your fancy, just, just give it a look, you know? Um, I mean, look at this. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, well, I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the view. So that's our camping weekend over and done with. What a fantastic time we've had. Um, Dalwood Park in Simmers Yacht. Lovely campsite, lovely folks who run it. And um, I have to say, I definitely recommend this place. It's been absolutely spot on. Um, the pitches, you know, we left them as we found them. Um, yeah, great facilities, everything spotlessly clean. And. Uh, Homeward bound now, so um, uh, I'll see you on the journey. <laughs> bye bye! So yeah, we've had some fantastic fun. Um, did the Brecon Beacons, did the Heads of the Valley Road and the Abbot of Any Road. Uh, yesterday we went to the Forest of Dean and that was great fun. Um, 
yeah, it's been absolutely spot on. I reckon by the time we get home, we would have done about 600 miles. So not great mileage uh, distance-wise, but we've packed a lot in to this uh, four-day weekend. So yeah, can't wait to do it again. And here comes the wet stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, blimey. But never mind. It's good that it's happened now rather than on Friday. And stayed with us all weekend. Well, folks, that's nearly the end of our journey. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the journey with us and the fun we've had. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to leave a like, that's fantastic. If you want to leave a thumbs, a thumbs down, hey, that's cool too. Just please leave your reason why you don't like the video. Um, so yeah, another thing, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. So there's shed loads more to come. And um, uh, uh, enjoy to see the numbers rising. And hopefully that will provoke you, make me want to make more content for you all. As always, stay safe, take care, and see you next time.